We have just checked with UP, uh, WPS and about 6,500 customers are still without power tonight. The massive storm system producing those power outages was one for the record books. Meteorologist Andrew Tut joins us now with a closer look at the storm during its peak intensity. Well, Patrick, this was just a massive storm system. We're taking a look at a high-resolution satellite image. This was actually from Wednesday when the storm was at its strongest. The pressure, 956 millibars, and you can see from the satellite that there was effects anywhere from the northern plains straight down into the southeast. And like I had mentioned, the pressure dropped to 956 millibars. That makes it the strongest system and the deepest low-pressure system that we've ever seen in the U.S., with the exception of tropical systems. And from the north side of this system to the south side of this system, well, it spanned about 1,500 miles. So keep this image and keep that thought in mind. We're going to compare it to Hurricane Katrina, which did strike in August of 2000, 2005, that is. And here is the hurricane on satellite. And the storm width here, about 850 miles wide. So the storm system that we saw earlier this week, actually a little bit bigger, but in terms of pressure, Katrina just so much stronger. Its low pressure was 920 millibars. It was a Category 3 hurricane as it struck New Orleans. Tom?